the final part to this, if some of you are still struggling with that, is obviously just some exercises to help us be able to reach that full barcode in the future. If you can't do it right now, don't worry. Not many people can do it first time. It's difficult, it's tough. But obviously, rather than doing the full bar straight away, if you can't do that, we can simplify it just by doing a half bar, for example. So rather than pressing down all the strings, we're just going to be pressing down some of the strings. So in this case, you could just start by flattening out that knuckle, that fingertip on your first finger, and just try and see if you can press down the first two strings, string one and string two. If you can do that, no problem. See if you can upgrade that to three strings. Same thing again, if you can do that, upgrade that to four strings. And obviously up to five strings. Now, let's say you were struggling with five strings. You're getting a little buzzing sound like that, for example, you're not getting a true note. Don't worry, give your hand a little break, relax it. Remember the tips that we talked about in the first video. Pull from your elbow, try it again. And hopefully over time, it'll get a little bit better and better, okay? So, you might know that there's a little chord that naturally uses a half bar like this that we were just talking about, which is our regular F chord. So if you've ever played an F chord before, you might know that there's a little half bar chord involved there because with your first finger, you're having to press down the first frets, like we were saying, on the first and second strings. So that means you've got this first finger covering the first two, like we just said, and then finger two goes on the next string, and then finger three goes on the fourth string, and it's gonna sound like this. That's a great chord to practice before you try your full bar chord. So if you can't do your F chord yet, try that first, and then try and implement back into your full G minor chord, which we talked about earlier, and obviously, if you can't do either of those, make sure you're just trying it open first without any other fingers involved. Just see if you can do that first finger up to at least four or five strings. If you can do all six, then you've basically got it and you don't need to worry anymore. Practice it. It'll come with time. It's a difficult thing, but it's one of the most important things that we need to know as guitarists. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.